okay next we should talk about the calculation of the number of plates required for a given separation uh, you can say it is in in both terms like you can say theoretical amount of plates or actual amount of plates actual amount of plates will be based on the certain amount of efficiency the system can perform or the plates can perform during the separation so we will be focused first on the calculation of the number of theoretical plates like we can achieve in this two methods the one is longest or longer and the second will be called the shortcut method will be with will which will be defined alongside or after that but more better method is the Lewis Matheson method I have quoted Lewis in the last video it is actually the Lewis because the support team actually say oh, sir this is Lewis not Lewis so I I am making these corrections it is Lewis Matheson method so it is based on the relative volatility of each component and its summation like I am directly going to the method uh, First of all, you have certain amount of feed and certain amount of distillate and bottom products based on your separation, your material balance or what you have, uh, what key components you have selected or you have. The first of all will be the equations of operating lines. Like you have the liquid and vapor streams in the column can be obtained. Ln liquid downflow will be equal to the 5 times the distillate and vapor up will be equal to 6 times distillate R plus 1D. The reflux ratio is set above at, as uh, 5. So RD LN is equal to RD because whatever is going to the distillate its one part is its one R is going back to the column and it is flowing downward. So we have liquid downflow from the condenser side is R multiply D so we have R D R is the ratio of the liquid flowing downward and distillate so L over D is equal to R Ln is equal to R multiply D it is the reflex ratio first of all you have to find out the minimum reflex ratio from that you can calculate the actual reflex ratio and then you will be able to use the Lewis Matheson met method for the calculation of the number of stages. Like I am telling, if you have calculated your reflux ratio, then you can calculate Ln is equal to Rd, Vn vapor up is equal to R plus 1D because one part is again moving upward that is coming down. For example, uh, Rd is going downward and it is again vaporizing, its one part is going to product and its one part is rising up. So for the vapor going up, it will become R plus 1D, not RD. Below the feed point, assuming that the liquid downflow below the feed point, N is for up uh, plates above the feed plate, and M is denoted based on the number of plates below the feed point, M. It is equal to LN plus feed because the liquid is flowing downward and feed is adding in it. So the liquid that is going down the feed plate will be summation of ln that is moving from upper head to down and plus feed liquid and vm will be also equal to the lm that is the total liquid flowing downward and a part of it is it's separating as separated as a product w so the vm that is rising again from reboiler upward into the column will be equal to lm minus w like shown here you can make an operating line based on the simple material balance. It is very simple material balance equation. Do not need any further justification. You can understand it easily. So based on this, you can find out a relation of Ym based on the Xm. If you are uh, moving downward to upward from the last plate to top. So you will denote all the plates below the feed point as y. ym starting from the bottom it will be equal to lm over vm into xm plus 1 minus w over vm xw. xw remember xw will be remain fixed it will not change it denotes the composition of each component like you have a multi-component mixture again saying methane, ethane, propane, butane 
xw will be of each component every time and that each component ym and xm plus well, 1 is function of plate m denote each plate m plus 1 denote next plate so these both are function of plates and xw is the fixed fixed value it will denote the composition of your component at the last plate so three uh, if i have three component like in this example we have ortho para and meta type of component of for example benzene or cresol so you can form the three lines based on three composition of three components of ym and xm plus one same you can same terminologies and same understanding you can develop for the n pl plates and n plate composition based on the yn and xn plus one and here xd will remain fixed for uh, for all components in the distillate or in the condenser like if you have developed the both operating lines the next step will be equal to the tabulating all the data like you have xs xs is showing the last plate composition of ortho meta and para -crisol. like then you have to multiply alpha alpha will be fixed for each component and you uh, i have told you before alpha is equal to the k of any component i let's say divided by k reference component so you have to multiply alpha of each component to xs and xs is a bottom plate composition again same then you can calculate the ys the y composition the vapor phase composition at the same plate this is the liquid phase composition at that plate or at the last stage or ys is showing the vapor phase composition in equilibrium relative to alpha at the same plate so the formula is quoted here alpha node xm node in alpha x divided by summation alpha x summation alpha xm can be obtained using the sum of these for example there are three this is will be summation for calculating y you can have 0.211 divided by 1.099 you can get 0.191 so continuing the cycle in the same way the feed plate will be observed when you will see the composition for example your feed is entering as a liquid so in the x phase you will see your feed composition like if i have 25 percent ortho 8.9 percent meta or para 65.8 percent if my composition that feed composition i will i see at this plate so this will be my feed plate because the composition that i have achieved at this plate will be equal to my feed composition so the same can be said for the for example i have to achieve the 60.9 percent ortho in the distillate so my required composition based on the stage by stage relative volatility calculation is achieved at the sixth plate so my total number of theoretical plates are six if i have for, for example like here he have here the author have shown the plate composition above the feed plate and below the feed plate separately so it uh, it is easy to distinguish then we come to the again to the backup concept like i have shown that the reflux ratio is fixed is constant so you have, you have to find it you have to find a minimum reflux ratio so first method is colburn's method for minimum reflux it is actually really really complex and it is rare to be used by student because it is actually a concept a complex and i am showing the equation so you can understand why it is not used but it is more accurate and easy because i am saying it calculates the top and bottom pinch temperatures so you can estimate with some additional calculation the temperature at each plate so the column temperature will be easy to calculate by taking the average in the different way based on the composition the second method is about the minimum reflux ratio using underwood method it is fairly easy concept because you have to multiply alpha of each component like i have abc3 components or alpha of each component with its feed 
composition liquid base x f x feed composition in f feed f for feed and alpha a minus theta theta is a fixed value and 1 minus q q is the ratio of heat required to vaporize one mole of feed to the molar latent heat of the feed ratio of heat required to vaporize one mole of feed to the molar latent heat of it and total heat that is available in the mixture divided by its molar latent heat if you have a mixture that is already in the vapor phase then you do not need to have any additional heat to vaporize the mixture so you have q is equal to zero but if you have a liquid feed so you will require the same amount of heat to vaporize one mole of heat so q will be equal to one and this will become zero so here by iterating the this well uh, this whole equation you will get the value of theta and for the literature from the literature reference the value of theta must lie between the relative volatility of heavy key and the relative volatility of light key again putting that theta in this equation and you have to calculate the rm here in this equation so you know everything xd you have calculated the distillate composition from the material balance and alpha the relative volatility is known from the deep restart chart k over k reference and so by iterating this again using the scientific calculator or a computational this computer calculator you can find out the rm r minimum now r minimum is a minimum reflex ratio and you have to find out the actual the actual will be sometimes equal to the 1.5 times 2 times 3 times it is based on the process functions and the experimentations like most of the times i will say 1.5 is most favorable so such kind of ratios are used to find the actual reflex ratio from the minimum reflex ratio and if you have found the actual reflex ratio from this formula you can put them into the put that into the Lewis Matheson method that has been discussed above and you can find the theoretical number of plates like my plates efficiency is 82 percent for example I have to divide my total number of theoretical plate with the plate effic efficiency to calculate the actual number of plates so this is the part enough for the calculation of number of plates the next the basic design calculation based on the hydrodynamics of distillation column will be discussed in the next video so stay happy stay blessed and stay with us thank you